station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I'm ready for the event. European Space Agency and participants, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Jules Grancier from ESA PAO. How do you hear me? Bonjour, Jules. Je t'écoute bien. I read you five by five. Ah, Mathias, nice. Mathias, it's, it's very nice to see you in space. I now introduce you, or leave the floor, to ESA Director General, Joseph Ashbacher. Hello, Mathias. Joseph. Hello, Mathias. Freut mich, dich zu sehen. So wonderful to see you in good shape, in good spirits, in good mood. Uh, fantastic. Uh, how are you doing? Everything wonderful up here. It's uh, my second week now in space, and I'm um, still about to get used how to work and live in space. It's like uh, I feel like a young bird who has just grown wings, and uh, now I need to learn how to fly. So, Matthias, uh, as you know, we are here in Mat Matosinos, which is uh, very close to Porto. Uh, we have been invited by Minister Manuel uh, Heitor, who is uh, the co-chair of the ESA presidency for the ESA council at, at, at the ministerial level. And we just had finished an extremely important meeting called the Intermediate Ministerial Meeting, uh, where we adopted, where the member states adopted uh, the Matosinos uh, Manifesto. Uh, Manuel calls it the M2 Manifesto, maybe M for Manuel and the other M for Morel, Eric Morel, who have been working hard on getting it all done and organized. And um, I have to say this manifesto is quite a milestone. Uh, it's uh, having uh, three inspirators, uh, sorry, three accelerators and two inspirators that are being endorsed, uh, which are really, I believe, uh, bringing Europe uh, forward and upward, upward towards space, towards your space station, and really a very important uh, step uh, politically. Uh, and really fascinating. So you're witnessing this historic moment from up there. Uh, we just uh, concluded the session, and I have to say that uh, this is, uh, is very important. As you know, uh, in this uh, manifesto, there are, uh, there's an inspirator on uh, human exploration, of course, exactly what you are doing up there. Uh, but uh, we are asked by the member states uh, to further explore and work on what can be done and how it can be done. Uh, but also to make sure that uh, we we are finding a, a path forward. Of course, this will take time and discussions, uh, but your inspiration from, from space will certainly help us uh, also giving us some hints and some uh, uh, yeah, re realism check of what, uh, of what this means. Also, as you know, the three accelerators are using space for citizens and really aiming at uh, maximizing uh, the space uh, assets uh, for people uh, in times of crisis, for climate change, for green, uh, green uh, future, green uh, uh, deal uh, activities, but also there's one on uh, protecting our assets, uh, and our assets uh, is not only satellites, but it's also humans. So you, uh, Matthias, uh, being one of my staff of uh, ESA's uh, most precious assets up there, uh, and also the accelerator is looking at uh, making sure that first we know what's going on uh, and of course then taking measures to protect uh, you astronauts uh, and uh, also the satellite infrastructure on which we are very much depending. So really happy to have seen this uh, adoption uh, just a couple of minutes ago. But uh, let me hand over to uh, Manuel um, and give his impression and his uh, view on uh, what just happened and the importance of this uh, manifesto. Matthias, thank you very much for sharing your time with us. I know that while you are speaking with us, you are not working, and I'm, I'm, I believe that you want to go back to work. But above all, you and your colleagues are an inspiration for every single European citizen, and I see every youngster throughout the world. And we'd like very much for you to let us know, to let people know about your training, about your message, to those young people that want to come to Europe 
to become uh, potentially an astronaut or to entrepreneurs new ideas in, into space. Your message will be listened by thousands and thousands of kids throughout the world, which we in Europe want to make a reality and make a place where everyone can aspire to be an astronaut. So let us know your feelings about the, the training, about the message for future generations, because here today we have essentially tried to do one step further in the future of Europe as a unique place um, for people to live and to be entrepreneurs in the space arena. Thank you very much again for sharing your time. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank you very much also, Josef. To add on what has been said, international cooperation is really the key. And uh, we here on the International Space Station, when we look down on planet Earth, then we see that, like this small ball here, our planet Earth is something in a bigger picture in the universe, and um, we all need to work together. We have no borders, at least we don't see from space here down on our planet Earth any borders. And so, like, cooperation is what brings the entire International Space Station community forward. We are truly international. We have members from Russia, from the US, from Canada, not currently on station, from Europe, from Japan. And working internationally together, also the ground teams, were, has been functioning perfectly during the last 21 years. Even if there are several crises in the political world, the international partnership in space has been really solid and robust. So, as you know, the mission, my mission, has been named Cosmicis. And this name communicates the special relation, the special connection between the inhabitants of planet Earth and the cosmos. And partnership is the key in exploring farther into the universe. So looking towards the moon or exploring also Mars, where Europe will be landing also next year with a robotic mission. And I'm very happy to hear now that we are advancing further in Europe, also to, uh, to remain a strong partner or to become even a stronger partner. And I feel an urgent need that Europe needs to invest more into space, to be aware of um, what's going on around our planet Earth, to have the situational awareness, but also to invest in the inspirational uh, programs to inspire the youth because our youth later on will become engineers, will become scientists. Uh, sometimes maybe they will also become an astronaut like me. And uh, this young generation is actually the, the best investment in the future of Europe. So if my work can contribute to support ESA in its ambition to become an even stronger partner for Europe, then I would be the happiest astronaut in space and the happiest man on the planet as well. Thank you very much. No, thank you, Matthias. We certainly want to make you the happiest uh, astronaut uh, on Earth uh, up there and, uh, and seeing what, uh, what you're doing. It's quite fascinating. Can you tell us in a couple of words, what, uh, what you're doing right now, what experiments you are working on, how your daily life looks like, and uh, what keeps you busy all day long. Yes, so we had a, a very quick start into our mission after having uh, first a delay on the ground, but then we made it safely up here to space, and the very first days have been busy unpacking our Dragon with the new experiments that we are currently doing. And you see around me, that's the Columbus module. It's, um, it's, it looks like a bit messy. It's because right before my session, there have been science experiments ongoing. When I'm done now with the PIO event, I need to clear up and then my colleagues come in and want to continue doing further research in here. Uh, we have a lot of different experiments, being it medical experiments, material science experiments, technological experiments, so uh, like a full set of experiments. During my mission, I will be part of around 150 different experiments, and hopefully that will contribute to uh, also improve the, uh, the standing and the know-how of Europe in the world. 
this morning I had a very profane activity to do um, that's maybe also of interest. It's our toilet failed. And so I had to dig in uh, very deep into uh, the interior of our toilet and the tubing and everything and had to fix the toilet. It's uh, also a special um, equipment that we need because if the astronauts are not happy, the science will not be good. Matthias, thank you. Last night, <laughs> last night, we had here a jazz concert for the delegations, and the challenge was to make a jazz concert in space. Do you believe that we can make, in the years to come, a jazz concert in the space station? Say again the last question. If you believe we can make and plan a jazz, a music concert in the space station. Well, that's always, it's always uh, worth a try. Um, it's, a, it's a nice idea. And um, I think space is inspiring. And if you have ideas, there should be no one who can stop you. message. There are no limits to our imagination. Again, thank you very much for your time and availability for exchanging views with us. Thank you. No, thank you, Matthias. Uh, it's uh, a real pleasure. Much. Thank you and goodbye. Huh? I thank you all. Have a very good event and all the best. Thank you. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you to all participants. Station, station we are now resuming operational audio communications.